Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Simple Creations by Fozia and this is like the second uh, in the series uh, Christmas card series in the previous video we did this one and now we'll move on and go with this one so for this one I'm just going to grab some scrap paper here and I will just find something which is like circle in shape there are so many things lying on my table right now that I can't even see where's my pencil line. Yeah, got it. So, I'm going to go trace this circle very lightly. Okay, and then like I'm going to draw one of the shapes with hand. Maybe like... I'm just trying to draw a tear shape ornament here. If you want, you can keep it circle. Otherwise, I just want it to be different from the rest of the two. As we are going to use some pop dots. Uh, it looks okay, okay to me. I'm not good at sketching at all. I know that. I know that you people can do much better than this so whatever you think you just draw it down whichever shape you like and I'm going to just erase some of these lines we just want some like guidelines to put our colors on we don't actually want okay that looks good to me so now I'm going to draw the top part of the ornament I'm not doing any measurement or anything here. I'm just trying to eyeball that where could be the center part like straight here or straight there. So I'm just eyeballing and drawing the top of the ornament. Just like that. Okay. That looks great. So now I'm going to take the smaller brush. We'll switch the brush to number 6. The previous one which I used was number 10. Now I'm switching my brush to number 6, round brush. Then the technique is same. I'm just putting some clear water on this shape. Coating it with clear water here. And now I'm thinking of the colors which I should use. So I think I'm going to go with red and orange. See how beautiful it looks when you drop the color in that water. Just take your watercolors out, play with them, try what you can do with them. I see you that you really don't need fancy things. Some of these watercolors they move very quickly, some of this they stay at one place so you have to use Try to move my colors with my brush and I think so I need some more of that red.
Okay, so now I think I'm just going to take my paper towel and pick up some of that color from there. And now I'm ready to go back with my yellow. Yeah. Okay, this looks okay, okay. Let's switch on to the next one. If you want, you can trace all this together and color them, but for that you need to wait, like I did, as I did on this one. I just traced them on one uh, piece of the cardstock, the main cardstock which I was going to use. And then I went coloring one by one, letting them dry, because before you start with the other ornament, you need the first one to be completely dried, otherwise you may end up with a mess of mixture of colors on your card. See how quickly this color moves. I love this. I really love this. Then I think I should use yellow here as well to keep it like in one theme maybe. So I'm going to go bring my yellow here. So as you know that mixture of blue and yellow it makes green so here we are getting different shades of blue, yellow, green, I just love it. Whatever whispering you can hear that's my son he's trying to say me something. Me too. Okay. Just trying to give it a shape of an ornament. I think it's looking great now. Though it may not look very impressive right now, just keep patience. After it dries, it's gonna go completely different look. It's gonna have. Yes, Vita. That's my daughter again. Okay, that's me. Okay, let's go. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I painted the third one as well and then let it dry completely. Now it is completely dried. So I'll just take my glitter pen. First I'll go take my black pen. Just quickly go and do outline of all these ornaments. You don't really have to be very perfect with this as you know that it's handmade so I just like to give that touch of uh, handmade looking kind of thing otherwise I have circled eyes uh, I could have simply cut some circles out of it and then did all this on that but I just love the look of this watercolor ornaments like it's really handmade so I'm just going around that circle ornament. These colors are very fun to play with but the thing which I have noticed is that it is having a lot of chalky thing in it. So after drying your uh, uh, this color becomes very much chalky so if you want to go with some gel pen or any other pen on this you need to try harder because it just slides over the chalk on this color but uh, I tried with this glitter pen it works very well with it so here I'm just going to draw some pattern on these ornaments I hope you can see what I'm doing okay I think that's okay so now I'm just going to draw some random patterns on this one
Once the colors are dried, this takes no time. So really going quick here. It's just to show you that what's the idea of this. Making some random patterns here. You can go and draw whatever you like, circles, dots. Any pattern would look great on these watercolored ornaments. I think that looks great. So now go to the next one. Here I am drawing some longer scallop like uh, shape. Maybe here I'll draw something else like some geometrical patterns. It's just a thing to relax. So don't stress yourself. Don't think too much about it. Just go on doing whatever you think at that moment. So I think that's looking great. Maybe I'll just add some dots down here. Okay, that looks great for me. So let's go to the next one. This glitter pen. So now the last one. Okay, I think that looks great. So I'll just press it down. Now what we're going to do is I'll just take my black pen and hand draw some strings here straight. Just trying to eyeball where it can go. And I'm going to draw some straight lines here. Okay, that looks great. So there we have done with this one. For this I may like like maybe yellow. Yeah, see how much popping it is getting on that bright yellow color. Or I don't have any violets, blues. I don't think so. I have any blue color here. Let me check my paper back. Mm, I'm missing blue. So maybe I'll stick it on the yellow or green or red. red. Okay, let's try it on the red. No, I like it more on yellow. So I'm going to go with the yellow one. You can select any color whichever you want. So here the last thing which we are going to do is we are going to stick that panel on our card stock. Card base, sorry. Then again I'm just using some I'm using some liquid adhesive here. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you like to see some more of this series, craft card making, sorry, quick Christmas card series, Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I have got some more videos in this series. And here we are done with the next. That's the second in the series. So it's quick, it's easy, it's relaxing. I love to do watercoloring. I'm not an artist, like, but I love the way the colors move when you add water to them. So here are our cards. This is from the previous video. This is from today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. And in the next video, I'll be doing this one. That's the sponging technique. So if you want to watch that, please check the description box below. I'll be putting all the links down there. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.